This video discusses the estimation of gestational age when the patient has unreliable or no dates for the last menstrual period and neither does she have an ultrasound scan. Assessment can be challenging for the care provider because the clinical evaluation of gestational age requires clinical competence for abdominal and pelvic bimanual examination. The care provider must practice developing this skill. Assessment may be more challenging if the patient has a twin pregnancy or is overweight. In such cases, the clinical assessment will have less accuracy. Other factors which make it challenging is a growth-restricted fetus, diabetic fetus, polyhydramnios, and molar pregnancy. An essential requirement before the physical examination is for the patient to empty her bladder. The patient should be lying down supine with knees slightly bent. There should be privacy so no one else can see her during the examination. Make sure you explain what you are about to do so she cooperates. Different strategies will determine gestational age. The strategy will depend on the time at which the patient presents. The stages of presentation are when the uterus is not palpable in the abdomen, from 6 to 12 weeks, a bimanual pelvic examination is conducted. When the uterus is palpable in the abdomen and at or below the level of the umbilicus, we identify the uterine fundus and its relationship with the umbilicus and the symphysis pubis. From 24 to 36 weeks, the uterine fundus is related to the xiphysternum and the umbilicus for finding gestational age. And from 36 to term, we identify the presenting part and its relationship with the pelvic brim. In the first 6 to 12 weeks of pregnancy, the uterus is not palpable in the abdomen and is still a pelvic structure. A bimanual pelvic examination can measure the uterus size. A two-week error exists in this method. The error will increase if the mother is overweight, the patient is tense, or the examiner is inexperienced. Remember that in early pregnancy, you cannot clinically listen to the heartbeat. Clinic handheld Dopplers have a sound frequency of 2 MHz, which will not pick up the fetal heart in the pelvis. Only ultrasound examination with an ultrasound frequency of 3.5 to 4 MHz will pick up the fetal heart. A 6-week size uterus is a bulky uterus and is soft and globular. The cystic feel is a differentiating point from a non-pregnant uterus compared to the bulky uterus in multigravid patients or when fibroids are present in the uterus. An eight-week size uterus is the size of a small apple and is globular and soft. A 10-week size uterus is about the size of an orange and a 12-week size uterus is that of a grapefruit. Generally, the uterus becomes an abdominal organ after the 12th week of pregnancy. There are few exceptions, i.e. when the mother is overweight or the uterus is retroverted. A per-vaginal examination will tell you if the uterus is retroverted. If that is the case, there is no need to worry. However, if there are no ultrasound facilities, you must wait for two weeks for the retroversion to correct itself and increase the size of the uterus in the abdomen. The uterus is palpable per abdominally above the symphysis pubis from the 12th week of pregnancy. When it is about two finger breadths above the symphysis pubis, it is approximately 14 weeks pregnant. When it is at the level of the umbilicus, it is 20 weeks pregnant. When it is two finger breadths below the umbilicus, it is 18 weeks pregnant. And when it is halfway between the 18 weeks and 12 weeks, 
it is 16 weeks pregnant. When it is one finger breadth above the umbilicus, it is 22 weeks pregnant. The fetal heart is heard with a fetal stethoscope or a pinard to confirm the fetus is alive. From the 22nd to the 36th week of pregnancy, the measurement in centimeters correlates to the gestational period in weeks with an error of one week. The exception to the assessment is when there are multiple pregnancies, uterine fibroids, or the fetus has a transverse line. The Pinard fetal stethoscope or handheld Doppler can hear the fetal heart. Requirements for this kind of examination requires patients to be relaxed and comfortable and the person examining should concentrate on the findings. In addition, you will need a measuring tape, a fetoscope or a Pinard horn fetoscope. You can hear a fetal heart with a stethoscope or Doppler. I have seen experienced examiners counting fetal heart rate with the years placed on the patient's abdominal wall. Beyond 36 weeks, an experienced examiner can evaluate gestational age as the uterus will start to descend from the sternum. Assessment of the gestational age may be done by assessing the presenting part and its relationship with the pelvic brim. In addition, judgment is on ex examining the fetal head and identifying its firmness as term approaches. Confidence in the measurement of the gestational age comes from clinical practice. For those learners who are keen to learn, it may be a good idea to first feel for the size of the uterus and then correlate it with patient dates, where dates are confirmed. In this way, you can build up your clinical skills. For the complete script of this video, see the description box below. Thank you and Khuda Hafiz.